we are supposed to be Girl Force 8. Yeah, pointed it at you. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Here we are being driven in some style again. It's uh, the 8th of December, I think. And uh, apparently, we do Girl Force 9 later today. What on earth would possess us to go out, you ask? Well, so that is an interesting question because when I was when I started sailing years and years ago, I would go out in anything. Yep. I go, well, we're still doing it now as old boys. Because <laughs> there's nothing else to do except gardening if we stay at home. Good so uh, yeah. there is good reason for it. Decorate the Christmas tree and all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, what's the plan <coughs> today? What's, what's in your mind? Well, it sounds like we're going to have to beat against a terrible wind, but we'd like to go to Lymington. There's a pub called The Fisherman's Rest. Uh, it's got very, very good reviews in Lymington, just outside Lymington, half a mile walk. It's a bit of a challenge because he's not checked and it's a Sunday and uh, yeah. it's December. I'm a bit concerned that the place might be packed out. So, good skipper that I am, point worthy preparation today. We have a bag with bacon, granary bread, soup, and butter in case we have to haul up in Newtown Creek on route. So uh, we're ready for anything, <coughs> actually. Never had to use your stuff. We have <laughs> yeah, it's got a bit old. But here is an interesting thing, and he'll love this. We've always got a choice which boat to use, and I have actually requested that we use his today. And the reason's interesting, we might even talk about it if it comes up uh, in the experience, but his boat is much better with a large sea and a following wind. If you get <coughs> wind and sea on the stern in my Beneteau, it's quite an uncomfortable wallow, whereas Injuna appears to handle that much better. So we might pick that up and have a look at it. I don't know if you've got any wisdom about that reality. I, I think it's probably as much to do with the skipper as it is the boat, but, but much for a force nine. Those flags aren't exactly telling. No, it's just my hanky, alright. Look. I put everything on, zipped it all up, went for my hanky, it wasn't there, so I had to unzip it. It's alright, it's just Is it silk? No, he uses not, silk. He's got about three or four. He has, on, he has three or four silk hankies and silk socks. It's like having the Queen on board, honestly. Chimney sweep brush. All right, we're speeding up. Yeah. Where are we going today, Dave? Well, it has to be said that one, one of our best plans, our earliest plans was, having looked at the forecast, should we check again in the morning? And then we said, no, let's just stick our nose out and make a judgment call. Well, we stuck our whole body out and got probably two thirds of the way across the, uh, the uh, western Solent here. And the, the sea conditions were really unpleasant. We kept rounding up even with two reefs big chunk reefed on the Genoa and we made the, the choice to go on to Newtown Creek knowing that the weather was worsening with some really uh, chunky waves actually or do we go back into the river and have lunch in the river so we agreed that was a manly decision a good decision on the day disappointing always but better to be disappointed than danger it was energetic that's for sure yeah Anyway, I don't understand why lots more people don't sail in the winter. Please, please. 
So anyway, the plan was to leave here and to go here. We got here and we went here. So this is the Royal Southampton Yacht Club. You can see the Walker Shore visitors pontoons here on the charts. I've actually been on the Bewley River for years now, but I've never stepped foot inside the clubhouse. The club was established in the 1860s and Earl Mountbatten was the club president for quite a long while. Today's admiral is Prince Michael of Kent. Although the club has an office in Southampton, in 1964, they decided they wanted a waterside site, so they purchased some land here at Gin Lane on the Bewley River. The head office also moved to Ocean Village Marina in uh, Southampton Water. But this Gin's clubhouse is fantastic. We were made very, very welcome by everybody. The place is immaculate. The food is excellent. We did not book ahead and we were lucky to get the last available table. So we highly recommend this place, but do call ahead for food. You can moor up on the Walker Shore pontoon if this has space, but probably best to book ahead in the summer, especially over the weekend days. Alternatively, I'm sure you can pick up a mooring buoy and dinghy ashore. Here's the visitor's pontoon. On a low tide, be wary of depth at this southern end. We've been told that there's two metres or more at any state of the tide here at the northern end. Also, stay very aware if you approach the pontoon from the south, this area shallows quite quickly. And I've gently run aground myself here whilst investigating the area sometime last year. If we'd had a tight spot there to come into, we'd have had to come in bow onto the pontoon. What's your name? Sorry, Dave. Dave yeah. This is Dave. Yeah. Dave, Dave just said, one of you's got a fast boat. And we this is so rude, Dave. Well, I mean, I'm a guest, I'm and he's honest. dismissed by Benito. Can you believe that? Well, and we did say that it would make a good windward mark. No, that's... We could all come round it. That's moving on towards abuse. Oh, yeah, correct. Anyway, this is so we, we came here, Dave, and we forgot our wallets. Yeah. Both of us forgot our wallets. So then I rang Rachel, she wasn't in, you rang Jill. What happened to your uh, thing, your Apple Pay? I don't know, we needed a code and I haven't put it in. On principle, we're going to Newtown Creek now. We're both slightly tempted by membership and a swing in mooring off of me. Very nice people. Especially the ex-Commodore Dave who we met in there. So you can... Don't mention painters. Before I tell you about this, he forgot his wallet and he says to the lady, can we play by Apple Pay? Only when we've eaten our large carvery, and had our drinks. His Apple Pay doesn't work because he hasn't got a code. He rings his wife, his wife's not there. So what do I end up doing? I have to ring my wife, she has to pay over the line. And now I've just had a text from Jill saying, you definitely do not need dinner tonight. I was looking forward to dinner tonight. And anyway, what's that piece of uh, rag? What's no, it's a about? rag. It's a, it's it's a, you can see it's beautifully stitched. It's a really important piece of gear. I've it got looks this. like the Y bit of the Y front. No, I've got this for when he dribbles. He's getting old. So when he gets to that stage, I've already got a little cloth to help mop him up. Plus, when you've got a um, tender that gets a little bit dirty in the weather, you can wipe the thwart with that and you, you know, keep yourself clean. It's a good bit of gear. Honestly. What do you mean, honestly? It's So useful. anyway... No, there's no anyway, any way anyway, about it. Anyway, we've been to Royal Southampton Yacht Club. It's yeah. fantastic in there. Really smart and lovely people, very friendly. Yeah. And we met Dave, who was the ex Commodore Dave. Nice guy. Came up to us and uh, said hello. Hi, Dave. Thank you for doing that. And um, he said, one of you's got quite a fast boat, haven't you? You could come and join the club, be part of the racing. 
the one with the fast boat. That's so hurtful, isn't it? Anyway, we knew exactly who he was talking about. You know. So we came up with this option. I probably need to get a new set of sails if I'm going to do that, but maybe I should get a new set of sails, join Dave and the team up there and do some racing. And then we had a, between us a very, very interesting good idea. Would you like to tell us what that was? Uh, we didn't have a good idea at all, and you're using this as a simulated conversation with Rachel to get the money for your new sales. And it, you, Would you like to tell us what the idea you was? You know that is not going to go down well. There was no new idea. It was in the weekend where football teams... No, he's teams, not, not going to no, tell us. No, in so. the weekend where football teams have had abuse and there's been all kinds of gender issues in the politics running up to this, this is boat abuse. This is boatism. What are you talking about? Well, you know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? about? Well, this is abuse of me and my boat. My boat is a classic boat. It's got place for entertaining. It's got beautiful accommodation. Right, okay, and it that's, sounds that's like a dream. Clearly, this is like... I've had enough of politicians. We're, we're five days away from a general election. And it sounds like a politician's answer, not answering the question. The, no, question, was, the question was, what was the idea that we all had for three years? No, we me, didn't you all and have Dave. It. And the, the idea that me, you and Dave had was that Dave's boat could be a, a, a windward or a leeward mark during the racing, so we could just anchor him up. That. We, you even offered to paint your boat yellow, didn't you? No, I did not. You're being silly. <laughs> Best drink of the day. Best drink of the day was probably... First cup of tea. Pardon? First cup of tea. First cup of tea, yeah. Best, Best part of that meal. Best part of that meal. Uh, the beef was actually really Beef was good. Yeah. Best comment of the day. <laughs> Best comment of the day was mine about your Dorado. No. <laughs> yeah, it was. No, I didn't. He may well have exalted, gloated even, over the former rear Commodore Dave at the Royal Southampton okay. Yacht Club. And there's a reason why people are former rear Commodores, you know. But hey. his... Hey. No, his hey, boat... He's a nice bloke. Leave him alone. Dave Rebetz's boat is full of very dodgy gear. I'm going to show you one and, and then tell you how it works on cool running. So, so here we have <laughs> Junior's Dorado. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Tiny bit of water on it. We go out on a chop, and the thing is completely look, look, look. What hammered. Look at it. We were out in a Force 9, and my main <laughs> halyard got caught around it and it ripped, <laughs> it, off, ripped it off. So look this is a temporary fit. fit. Yeah, he it's says, oh, this will do for the winter. Fit. No, no, this is until I get a new one. So, Dave, we, um, we were intending to go to Lymington. And we ended up about 300 yards from our mooring. <laughs> so look, at the western summit, when we got out there, I don't know what height those waves would have been, the height of this cockpit. So there's got to be at least six foot, weren't they? And they yeah. were unpleasant waves. And the boat, the boat was we had strong sure. wind against strong tide today, so um, we, turn, we, we decided to turn round. We tacked. We don't like turning round, but it was the right decision to make. Yeah, I came back into Beauty River. So Dave's a little bit worried that we had a um Here we go. I know. We yeah, had here we go. We we had a fundraising oh, it, it, that our business does a lot of stuff in Africa. And I in Africa in India, building schools and stuff and so we had a fundraising event for our thirtieth year business anniversary thing a few weeks ago and Somebody persuaded me and Dave to put our boats in as a day out on the Solent for somebody to hire us for a fundraiser thing. And somebody spent about 1,300 quid to come out for the day with us. And we just started to think, we got this, these two ropey old boats. No, mine's in fine fettle. Yours has got a string holding yeah. it together. You've got a leaking can, can, gate around your mast. Could you... We have really? to use the tea towel that he then wipes my coffee mug up with. He, he wipes his floor with it when take we get on the boat. Don't you take it home. That is filthy. What? No, I took it. I knew I was going to take it home and wash it. Yes, on, but in on. between times you've dried my cup on it. No, no, it's in there. 
Uh, what's that one then? That's a new one. Oh, praise God. So, but the point <laughs> is, these aren't luxury boats. No, but well, yours is not a luxury boat. Both have got a general amount of filth on them. Mine is both great. Have, both have got a general amount of filth, no. and they're held together with string, as you can see. And um, we're not really sure that 1,300 pounds worth of... It's the company, mate. Uh, it's the company. Priceless.